How did it come together with the Ravens? Oh uh, man, just um, just they had a, you know just a, they had a great plan for me. And so it was kind of the you know knowing I you know Big Mike and I have somebody up there who can you know show me the ropes. Terry Gurley from um, South Carolina, he also you know plays there. So just uh, it was a good setup, man. I played behind some some veteran guys that probably showed me the ropes. Ain't gonna be no jealousy. They know I'm not about to come in there and take that, you know, take that time. So they're gonna show me, show me the ropes. What is their plan for you? Uh, plan just, um, just I, I'm guessing you know, just try to develop me. I'm, I'm gonna go in there with the mindset of you know trying to make the team, you know, off top. But um, if not, you know, just try to develop me into a great tight end. And you were pretty quick with that on Twitter after the drafts. Mm -hmm. How much of that communication with the Ravens went on? You know, it, it went on a lot prior before yeah. the draft and things like that. So. Um, I think as soon as that last pick was over, like my phone, I think they were, I think they were waiting to just press it. Mm -hmm. And I did, you know. Was the first people to call me um, heard from the um, Chiefs, um, Philadelphia, and um, the Bears also, like right after. But you know, were you, were you thinking uh, as the draft went on that that you were definitely going to go the free agent route, or were you thinking? Yeah, man, the they um, they let me know that though. The Ravens let me know, um, hey, we you know we're, we're probably not going to be able to you know draft you. The guy said he was pushing for me, but it was a high risk, high reward kind of thing. So they rather you know um, if we know we can get you, you know it's a business. We can get you. We're gonna get you. Try to get you for cheap. Yeah. And so you know I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of um, the Ravens. Did you my work out for them at all? Yeah, I did, yeah. When you evaluate your skill set, do you feel it fits the Ravens' offense pretty good? Or? Yeah, I feel like it does, man, just as um, far as the two tight end. You know, um, you know, I went back, I watched YouTube clips and things like that. You know, um, as a tight end, you block down most of the time, so I won't be in there up under them big guys, you know, getting crushed. Did you look at their depth chart at all? Because I think they have two tight ends, but they like to keep three, and they yeah. don't have a third right now. Yep, yep, yeah. I looked at that. Um, I think they brought. Um, I think they bring one in as a free agent, also. You know, so I looked at it, and I'm trying to compete for that spot. Try to get on the roster. How many more tight ends do you think? Uh, you mentioned one bringing in uh, yeah. as a free agent. You, you know what that position will look like in camp in terms of competition? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah. Yes, sir. What do you do between now and two weeks when main camp starts? Uh, I mean, I leave Thursday. Okay. I leave Thursday. I'll come back Monday. And then um, I take off, I was going to say, for good May 12th. Because um, I think you got OTAs and other things going on from May 12th to, like, June 20th. So, you know, that'll pretty much be what I'll be out and, you know, trying to find a place to live. What's some of your goals, you know, athletically heading into mini camp? Uh, just, you know, um, don't let the things that I can't do hurt me more than, you know, showing the things that I can do as far as my athleticism, you know, my great catching ability. How quickly after basketball season ended did you start getting? Because you kind of tweeted out that you had offers from NBA and NFL or opportunities. Yeah, I mean, I just, um, you know, I got contact, you know, during basketball season. But, um, you know, they knew that we were going through the tournament and things like that. They're like, we'll holler at you when it's over. And, they holler at you right at, you know, like they're watching the game as soon as it was over. Um, they knew every step. I got poked in the eye in Portsmouth and got a text right after. I hope your eye's okay. You know? <laughs> so they said they knew everything, man. And um, I'm just I'm just glad I had this opportunity. Were the Ravens today, were they the ones that showed the most interest? Yeah, I know you I mentioned they showed the most interest, man. It felt like, you know, and I felt more comfortable, like, no matter what I do in minicamp or all that, that, I would make the team for sure. So, you know, I would be around. How did your tryouts go with them, your workouts? Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously they can see you catch the ball, but, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah I, it, went, it went well, man. As far as, like, you know, some of the some of the drills, they were they were all new to me. Yeah. Uh, they knew that. But, like, um, I know I need to work on, like I said, my worst part is I, how are you getting down in that stance? <laughs> but, um, I, have to, I have to work on that. I have to work on that a lot. But, um. I thought it went well, though. Yeah, what do you think about you and blocking? Yeah, blo blocking, blocking, I, I said it's going to be a little tough, man, but I got long arms. I, I don't see that as an advantage, but they see it as an advantage. Like, you know, the long arms are, you know, a big advantage when it comes to blocking. So, that was. If you don't get caught, I guess. Yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> what is the, you know, to go.